looks like we are going to move into game number three here. And University of Washington's throwing out the Tempo Image. And Oregon, it looked like they made some changes to their deck. Might have taken out Unstable, or sorry, Anoyotron uh, for, for Unstable Cool. <laughs> uh, this is a new meta game for me. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. I, I, the last thing I expected was uh, Oregon to decide, all right, let's change this Ramp Druid to Ramp Druid with Unstable Ghoul. Yeah. I, I thought it would be maybe a bit more, uh, you know, dramatic. But no, it's just, it seems to be ramped. Unless they're playing some kind of mid-range deck, a little odd one, with mm. heal bots. Yeah. Double Flame Waker opener. Washington. Yeah. So reading the notes that we have on the University of Oregon, they have a they have a system. Okay, go ahead. What is the okay. system? Uh, so I believe Henry... Um, who I, I might assume is Beanie Guy in the middle. Okay, so Beanie Guy. Uh, he's he's like the the captain. He like he pilots the decks, which it looks like he's doing. Okay. And he like grinds legend a lot. He he peeks at high legend. Uh, David, who I don't know which one's David, but I'll I'm gonna assume that it's the guy in the fight. We'll get confirmation perhaps. He like watches streams like all day. Hoodie guy. Hoodie guy. Hoodie guy yeah. watches streams all day. Watches streams all day. Gets the the, the popular deck list and popular tech choices. And sends them to Henry so he can keep grinding. I like that. Yeah. And uh, what does T-shirt guy do? T-shirt guy? I'm getting to that. T-shirt guy is, is friends with the other two. He has a history in other card games. So he's he's the wise, the the wisdom guy in the background. Okay. So yeah, T-shirt guy definitely looks like he's uh, giving yeah. out the the advice bombs. Yeah. He he's the guy that when you say, all right, it's turn seven. We have Doctor Boom. He's the guy that goes, wait, wait, wait. We can play Do that. Do we really want to play Dr. Boom? The other guys go, yes. And That's he... T-shirt guy's role. Yeah, but does he say yes as well, or does he actually argue for 10 No, minutes? he sits back and crosses his arms and like, passively, aggressively glares at you. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that sounds way too much like real life to me. I don't know. <laughs> These guys are real people. Are they? I don't, yes, I they just are. I see them on the screen. Yeah, real college students. But let's get back to the game. It looks like the deck is pretty similar. Right. We didn't see combo last time from Oregon, so Which maybe I think they threw they in a added. combo. Yeah. yeah. Looks like it to me. They realized, wait a second, we have all these taunts, <laughs> but where's our win condition? Yeah. How do, we, how do we play Hearthstone without killing our opponents? Yeah. All right, so it looks like uh, this is a pretty, I want to say, slow start for uh, Washington. But, I mean, they did get to play the Flame Waker. It's not necessarily the worst start. They did throw one of them out, I think. Uh, so they only kept a single Flame Waker, probably looking for Mana Worms, Sorcerer Apprentice, mm. and possibly Knife Jugglers. I don't know if they're running those in that version with Mirror Images. Mm -hmm. It's not something you see every single time. Want to be like, none of their names are the ones that I assigned to them. Henry's somebody different. Maybe Henry's Hoodie Guy, because it starts with H. Maybe Beanie Guy. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Yeah, uh, I'm going to make sure that I get confirmation after the next one. Oh, Kazan Mystic in Oregon's deck. Wow. What a card. Well, they know that only Mage and Hunter remain for the University of Washington. So, Absolutely logical. Yeah, Kazan Mystic makes perfect sense. And if University of Washington sees that, they might just take all their secrets out. Man, there is Secretless Mystic, Temple Mage. Right, you can make Secretless Temple Mage, and in some cases, even better uh, than uh, that that same deck. And then Oregon realizes it. They go for the mind games, take their Kazan Mystic out. And what do they put in instead? Whoa. An Oregon <laughs> Who knows at this point? <laughs> well, after the Unstable Ghoul, anything goes. Yeah. Well, Temple Mage is doing what Temple Mage does. It's putting down the tempo. <laughs> Breaking it down. I guess. With some tempo. So, do you play the Force of Nature here, or do you just go for a, kind of a Darnassus uh, Sengen play? It feels a bit too passive, perhaps, to feed another Sengen into this. Yeah, but or Force of Nature doesn't really do that much. With Force of Nature, you clear off a one drop in like three quarters of a four drop. So, you kind of want to whittle down the board a yeah, little I more. So. Maybe try and uh, save it. It, see if you can draw into like a savage roar. You can use swipe if you, as you said, you know, whittle down the, the size of the board. Swipe can then become, you know, a lot more effective. Yeah. yeah. So there's a really good argument to just wait a little bit longer. Yeah. But there is Doctor Boom and Archmage Antonitis. Uh, so the follow-ups for uh, University of Washington do. looks they look pretty sweet do. here. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, these are just tempo plays one after another. And University of Washington realizes that they can throw out these spells willy-nilly because their turn 7 play is pretty much set in stone. Turn 8 play seems pretty reasonable as well with Archimedes Antonidas plus an Arcane Missile. So I'd say University of Washington 
is in a fantastic spot. The thing is, they really have no reason not to play, uh, you know, Dr. Boom into Arc Mage, Arc and Missiles, unless Flame Strike is necessary. And that would require that Oregon just floods the board, which their deck is just not equipped to do. That's nope. just not what it does. It's a very, very slow-paced deck. And even if they go for something like Ancient of Lore here and draw some cards, um, I think it's still maybe a bit too much on the slow end. Yeah. But they've taken a lot of damage, so they're going to have to react to this. And see, they're going to go for the three-quarters of a four-drop. <laughs> And the one drop kill. Yeah, well, that one drop started to get out of control a little bit. Oh, and speaking of out of control, that's pretty dangerous, too. Yeah, you leave that up, that can do quite a bit of damage to you, but who cares? Dr. Boom! <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah. And his name is Dr. Boom! All yeah. right, so we've got the perfect clear here, at least. Uh, but that means he's going to be down to seven health after those boom bots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. We'll see. Boombots guide me. Nope. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. Manageable, at least very manageable, and it looks like um, the Archmage with Arc and Missile is going to give a fireball, and at that point, I don't feel like Oregon has an immediate answer to it. Yeah. So, so have to try to heal up. And also do three damage to phase, so they have to worry about healing themselves out of range, plus dealing with the Archmage and Tinnitus. <laughs> they're, they're kind of cheering for their yeah. opponents. Oregon is like, yeah, keep going, keep playing minions, go, yeah. go, go. Yeah, they're pretty happy. All right, well, I don't think there's any way out of this. Double Whoa. Kazan Mystic? Are you serious? And not a single secret was seen that day. Yeah. That mirror entity is just laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, it's actually, it copied the Kazan Mystic to put it in the opponent's deck twice. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're going to try and draw cards, but there's nothing that's going to help them. That's a very good card against Archmage Antonidas. He is actually uh, undead -ophobe. Yeah. And he doesn't like those. Sure. Uh, good thing is he doesn't even need to attack. Because Fireball, Fireball just ends the game. Yeah. And Oregon's going to realize this quite slowly. You know what I find fascinating is that Jaina is the apprentice. And she's the one killing you. While Archimedes just sits there and does nothing. Mm. Well, he's teaching her how to Fireball. by Ha-ha! <laughs> Ha-ha! Oh, that's how you do it. Does somebody require some Fireballs? Well, the stable ghoul here is just gonna do nothing. I mean, Oregon is probably discussing their follow-up, right? Not, sure. not this game, but probably the following game. Yeah. What do we do? Because now we're up against their last deck, which is Hunter. We know that that's what they've got yeah. left. Um, and at that point, uh, do we keep this druid list? If so, yeah. do we keep it with double Kazan? Do we keep the ghouls? Because they could absolutely do that. Just yeah. keep a double Kazan, double ghoul deck, and that would really counter Hunter pretty well. Yeah, I believe they only have five minutes in between. Uh, their games right. uh, to possibly sideboard or change up their deck. So, you know, taking that time to discuss what they're going to do next so that they don't take up that full time or make some mistakes with their deck building is a pretty big deal. And you saw University of Washington giving themselves high five, but University of Oregon...